Hey everybody! Sorry, no figure study video today. It's, uh, well, I guess first an update. Our ceiling's fixed. The leak damage has been taken care of. You can kind of see all that up there. It took a while, <laughs> but it has been fixed. And that is great. And as you can clearly see behind me here, things are unpacked again. And it's so nice, so nice to have the other half of our apartment back again, because it was it was not a fun week, <laughs> having everything crammed into just a couple of sections, and so many things were just thrown off because of that. Even the cats are significantly happier now that everything's back to the way it was. Unfortunately, all of this ceiling nonsense, specifically the repairs, which happened over the last week, all coincided with a week where I was working extra hours at work, which means that the day I'm recording this, Labor Day, Labor Day evening, clearly because it's so dark now, uh, this has been my first day off in eight straight days. And unfortunately, because of how much I've been working and because of all the ceiling stuff and the unpacking and moving furniture and stuff like that, I've just been too wiped out on the days that I had the opportunity to record anything. So as of right now, I don't have anything recorded for this week, with the exception of this video you're watching right now in place of a figure study. Again, my apologies for that. But I do actually have today, the day that this is being posted, tomorrow from when I'm recording, this is weird, but I do have Tuesday off which means I'm hopefully going to be spending some of the afternoon or evening recording some stuff. So unless things go terribly wrong or I get like super wiped out from something else, there will be a video for Thursday. It might not be something incredibly complicated, it might not be a huge intricate thing, but there will be a video going up for Thursday, like a tradi more traditional like figure study style video. And with some of the stuff that you can see on the shelves behind me here, you could probably get an idea for some of the stuff that you can look forward to in the future. Because there's plenty of stuff up there that I still haven't talked about, and there's stuff in the other shelves that I also haven't talked about yet. So yeah, more is still coming, it's just, you know, the ceiling nonsense. <laughs> But I will say it has felt great to unpack everything. Like I actually had several things come in after the whole collection was packed up and they, you know, I couldn't really do anything with them. I couldn't, like I messed with them, around with them a little bit, like took them out of the packages, messed around with them a bit and then put them right back in the packages and tossed everything in my closet because it's all packed up. So it was nice to really be able to take everything out and you know, mess around with it a bit more, find a proper place for it on my shelf, as you might be able to tell. Right around here, you might be able to tell that uh, I've got a few more Star Wars Black Series figures, as well as some other stuff, obviously, but that's beside the point. Um, but I will say, uh, also if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen that I picked up recently a Studio Series KSI Boss, which is a repaint of Nitro Zeus, basically with the primary difference, aside from color, being that the head is now attached. It doesn't do the Headmaster thing anymore. Also, weirdly, it feels like the plastic is a little bit, I guess, cheaper. Like, it doesn't feel like a knockoff or anything like that, but just this, the plastic feels a little bit more flexy than I remember the Nitro Zeus figure being, but that could also just be my imagination because I've had the oversized Black Mamba version for much longer than I had the Nitro, the official Nitro Zeus figure, so uh, I could be getting the feeling of, like, the tactile feeling of the figures mixed up in my brain. But yes, um, I got KSI Boss recently, but if you follow me on Instagram, not saying you need to, I'm just explaining, but if you follow me, then you would have seen probably that I picked it up at our local Target on, like, I thought it was a sale at the time uh, for... Eight dollars and ninety-eight cents. <laughs> it's a current Studio Series Voyager class figure for less than ten dollars. The reason I bring this up is because we went back to Target again earlier this evening, or yesterday, if you're watching this on the day this video goes up. They had more KSI Boss figures on the shelf, and the shelf tag actually said eight dollars and ninety-eight cents. Like that's just the price, and it's not just the Voyager size Studio Series figures. 
The deluxe figures are also severely discounted, as I realized when I picked up Dropkick and Hightower today. <laughs> yes, Studio Series Dropkick and Hightower. I love Dropkick, by the way. Dropkick is fantastic. But yes, I picked both of these guys up. They rang up for $5.98 each. Seriously. So it's basically like two for the price of one half. Though, like, that's, they're, again, not on sale. They were tagged for that price. But then all of the Siege figures are the normal MSRP. It's, you know, $19.99 for a deluxe, 50 bucks for a liter. They didn't have any Siege Voyagers in stock when we were there. But, yeah, um, I don't know that this is a company-wide thing. It's probably not. It's probably just targets within our area. I don't. It may just even be the one here. Like, I don't know. I kind of hope they don't realize the mistake for a little while yet, because I'm hoping to get more stuff in stock that I can get for a really good price. I, they didn't have any long hauls, unfortunately, but given the fact that I was able to get KSI Boss for, you know, a third of the price, and I was able to get Dropkick and Hightower for a fourth of their price, I'm less bothered about paying full retail for a few figures here and there. I think, uh, first impressions, they're both definitely worth the money. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's, uh, that's it. I've talked your ears off for long enough. Um, I will say, though, it's definitely worth checking Target for other Studio Series figures in your area, just to see if maybe your Target is doing a similar thing. As I said, it might just be the one it might be something in, like, our district or region, I don't know, but it's worth looking into because, I mean, dang. But anyway, yeah, that's the update. Uh, you know, things are finally back to normal, but because things were so messed up for a while, it just kind of threw a wrench in things. But hopefully this will be the only little road bump... Road bump? Hopefully this will be the only little speed bump along the way and you know other than that there'll be just smooth sailing no missed videos or anything for a long time oh also we watched the first episode of the dark crystal age of resistance tonight and it was really really good y'all should probably check that out if you can anyway thank you for watching everybody and also for everybody who you know expressed their condolences well wishes during the ceiling debacle thank you for that as well it's uh it's nice to finally have things back to normal, and I will see you all in the next video. The camera just did not want to focus on Dropkick, but yeah, he's... he is fantastic. Glorious, even. Okay, goodbye.